Hi guys, my name is Davis and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got something very exciting to unbox and of course, it is the brand new OLED Nintendo Switch. Should you upgrade from your original Switch to this new one? Well, let's find out in this video. But before we do, make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. So let's get unboxing. So instantly we can see that this new Nintendo Switch comes in this beautiful red box. It actually feels remarkably high quality for a Nintendo box. Um, I can't quite remember how the original Switch's box looked like, but I imagine that this is much more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> on the front, we've got an image of the console. It says OLED model down here, just in case if you weren't sure. Um, as you can see here, I've got the white one because that is the new color. And also we get a glimpse of the brand new redesigned white dock with an Ethernet port, so that's very exciting. And also we get a glimpse of the new Switch, which has a bigger screen and also much thinner and more attractive bezels. On the side, it says Nintendo Switch, not so fun. On the top, it says Nintendo, not so fun again. But what is fun is what it says on the back. It's got tabletop mode. It's got TV mode and it's got handheld mode. And then we've got these lovely um, Joy-Cons here. I believe that they are basically the same design as before and you still get Joy-Con drift, unfortunately. And we get a glimpse of the new kickstand. I'm very excited to see how that is. So let's get opening. Um, got this little tab down here and oh, there we go and we get a glimpse of the setup process. Um, I don't think Apple would do an unboxing like this but uh, I'm glad there's a QR code over here to help. And well, oh, let's do this again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Actually, I take back what I said about how high quality the box is. It feels like it's ready to be recycled, actually. Uh, but you know, it's fine. It's environmentally friendly. Okay, so I think my camera person just told me that the original Switch box came in brown. It had brown cardboard. So this is a step up if he is correct. Um, so this is the Switch. It comes in this plastic bag. Apple has recently removed almost all plastic from their packaging, so I think Nintendo needs to catch up. <laughs> and um, in here as well, we have the Joy-Cons. I'm really loving this white color. It's almost like it sort of contrasts with this blackness and it gives this nice panda effect. Um, so that's the right one. And here's the left one. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Um, okay, so it comes out like this. How very smart. Oh, I see some documentation in here. This is my favorite bit, obviously. Um, we've got, when I say some documentation, I mean, this is it. It's just this little um, pamphlet, 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 one of the above. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I see the very exciting dock, but before we get to that, let's unravel the cables. So it comes in an HDMI cable, fantastic. Um, I love that, Nintendo. Um, here is the power brick. Um, I think it's the same one as before. It's sort of a dark gray color. And here, I forgot that the switch came with this. We've got the little um, handheld, like, what do you call it? Handheld grip for your Joy-Cons. I actually imagine that this was an aftermarket accessory or something for some reason. It's been so long. And also, we get the Joy-Con straps. As we can see here, um, this is like, this looks like the Animal Crossing one. So this is a different type of rope, I think, to um, the original Joy-Con straps. And this is, this sort of rope looks like the Animal Crossing design um, that I sadly did not bring. But yes, that is very cool. And then, of course, we have the brand new dock. Okay, and we shall unbox that in a little bit. Okay, so now that we've unboxed all of the fun paraphernalia, let's do the actual unraveling. Let's begin with the actual tablet. Comes out like this. Ooh, wow. First impressions, it looks incredible. Okay, so the original Switch, sort of, when you unbox it, it sort of looked like a $100 Android tablet. Let's be honest. It's got big, ugly bezels. The plastics don't look that impressive. But this one, wow. It almost looks like, you know, sort of like a $1,000 smartphone, albeit very big. The, the screen almost is edge to edge. And is this still plastic or is it glass? I actually can't tell. 
if it's, oh, I think it's plastic, but it feels really good and sturdy. You probably still need a screen protector there. But we can see that it sort of um, curves around the edges, this glossy plastic ar around, the, um, around the screen. And it just feels really good quality compared to the original Switch. We've got the um, micro, not micro USB, we've got the USB-C port on the bottom here. And then we've got the rails over here, which I've been told are much sturdier, much higher quality than the original Switch. We'll see about that. And we've got our um, game card slot. Uh, it feels just as uh, flimsy as the original one, unfortunately. We've got the um, fan, and then we've got the, um, we've got the volume buttons and the power button, which are actually a little bit different. On the original Switch, we can see that the power button's a little bit taller and it's a round power button compared to the flatter oval one. This is all very fascinating. But this is the thing that we've all been waiting for. Let's check out the new kickstand because um, let's, let's remind ourselves, the original kickstand was a, a little bit rubbish. Literally just like, okay, let's put it on the table. One knock and it's over. And it snaps off so easily as well. I mean, I think it's designed to snap off, but like, that really shouldn't be a thing. So let's look at the new one. So as we can see, it's sort of a full length um, stand and it reminds me in a lot of ways of the uh, Microsoft Surface. And oh my God, this piece of plastic feels genuinely high quality. It feels really sturdy. And the hinge mechanism, although it's not quite as good as the Microsoft Surface, it feels really good and sturdy. Like, I am impressed. Nintendo generally does not do very good high quality hardware because, you know, they have to, uh, they have to build to a certain price. But this feels so good. Let's see if it tips over. No, this is, this is amazing. Nintendo, honestly, well done. This hardware is a million times better already than the original Switch. I am so impressed. Let's put the Joy-Cons on, shall we? Okay, so the, they come out of the plastic like so. Very exciting. Let's put it on. Three, two, one. That was very satisfying. But let's see if it feels good sturdier than before. Hmm. Let's compare. Okay, I don't know if it's because uh, this is old, but this is much less wobbly than it used to be. I'm just going to compare it with my Animal Crossing one because it's a bit newer than the original Switch. Oh yes, definitely this new one is a lot sturdier. It still wobbles a tiny bit. Obviously, it's just three um, different parts put together, but it feels considerably um, sturdier. And also I've been told that it's a little bit bigger. Is it bigger? Yes, it's just a tiny bit longer than the old one. But like, just see how much higher quality that looks. It just, despite how small the changes appear, it just, it looks like a whole new generation of device. It just looks so much better. And the back as well, it's a lot, lot cleaner. Well done, Nintendo. And we can see as well, compared to the Animal Crossing one, if you want a new one of these, they're like $1,000 on eBay now. And I'd say skip the Animal Crossing, go for the OLED because it's so much better. Okay, and we haven't even opened the dock. Let's see the dock, shall we? Like, I'm just gonna throw these um, Joy-Con straps away because we don't really care about those, do we? Okay, so there's a lot of bubble wrap. And then inside the bubble wrap, there's um, this polystyrene, three, two, one. Ugh. Okay, I showed you the back. <laughs> Let's see the front. <laughs> and wow. Okay, I might have said in the past that this is supposedly higher quality than the original. Uh, I think it's made of the same sort of cheap plastic. Um, obviously, this is the Animal Crossing one, but it's basically the same as the original. Um, okay, no, I think it's the same scratchy plastic. Despite that, I think it's a little bit better because we've got this lovely etching of the Nintendo Switch here and we've got, and the panda theme continues because we've got a black glossy inside, which is really cool. Much better than the old uh, matte inside. Okay, so the back of the old one, it looks like a sewing machine from the 80s, doesn't it? It's a little bit uninspired and it opens up like so. Okay, ignore how dirty it is because, uh, 
Gosh, everyone tells me how dirty my tech is, but uh, it's very plain looking. This new one's got this futuristic sort of curve, and let's watch it open. Oh, it's not a hinge, it actually comes off. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we can start to see some of the new features because, well, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, the new one has additional grills over here. The old one had some as well, but the new one's got this new design. <laughs> and on the old one, if we can see, it's got USB-C, it's got a standard USB-A and also an HDMI. The new one adds a... Oh, the new one actually gets rid of the USB-A and replaces it with a LAN port, sort of an Ethernet thing. So you don't have to rely on the terrible Wi-Fi of the Switch. Oh, and there's two USBs over here instead. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. This stand is, is way better. Although the build quality is um, similar, I think that it's um, considerably better than the original one, even the Animal Crossing. Oh wait, actually the original one has USB ports here too. You can tell that I never use my Switch in dock mode. It's, uh, it's basically handheld all the time for me. Let's put the um, Switch in, let's see how that looks. Oh. I am loving this color scheme. I thought that the Animal Crossing one was all cute and that, but uh, I am really digging the, uh, the, the sort of panda look of the new one and we'll just ignore this. Also, fun fact, um, I couldn't find the dock for my original Switch, but I've uncovered this amazing accessory. So we all know that the stand's pretty rubbish and you don't always want to use it. So Nintendo actually made this. Just look at, like, what is it? What do you think it is? Because you're wrong. It's actually a kickstand. It's a stand for your Nintendo Switch, which already has a stand. Like, Nintendo admitted that the original stand was rubbish, so they made this accessory for it. How dumb is that? It is absolutely hideous. But at the same time, I bought it, so, um, yeah, they, Nintendo really, really got me there. <laughs> I've got a question from my audience. Does the um, new Switch fit in the old dock and vice versa? Let's see. I believe they do. Yep, they, they are pretty um, interchangeable, physically at least. I don't know if it actually works, but physically they are interchangeable. But just look at the color schemes. You don't want to do that. That's, that's dastardly. <laughs> okay, let's turn the new Switch on and see if this new OLED screen is any better. So the old Switch here, we can see it has a massive bezel, but let's turn the new one on and compare. <gasps> Look at that. I'm just gonna put the kickstand out so we can see together. Oh my God, the blacks look so black. <laughs> oh, and the speakers actually sound a lot better too. They're not iPhone good, but wow. I'm amazed by how amazing the screen looks, like the old one just looks so damn dated. Just look at that and the new one. Just, I think the minimization of the bezel is the main thing for me. It just, it looks so much more spacious. However, the, um, the OLED definitely has a little bit of a blue tinge, which is um, a bit of an OLED thing. But for gaming, it's fine because you're probably not gonna, you know, care that much about how your whites look. The screen, the responsiveness, the speakers, it's all so good. And um, although the pixel density is technically a little bit worse than the old one, it still looks really good for me and you won't care while you're gaming. Um, 720p is definitely still good for this. Okay, so I've got the new Switch roughly set up and then let's just compare the screen to the old one. So I've got Mario Kart 8 here. This just reminds me of the, uh, the Switch cartridge licking um, trend. Remember that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm not going to do that today because this has been licked way too many times. Um, let's put the cartridge in. I'm so disappointed that they haven't improved the, um, the flap. It still feels so cheap. Oh well. So it's in. And I'm going to start Mario Kart up at the same time. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. 
I think they'll be the same fast because they have identical specs, uh, processor wise. Okay, I can't see, but I'm sure you can. <laughs> oh my god, I just had a little bit of a glimpse. And the difference, honestly, is jaw-dropping. It's like going from an iPhone, I don't know, an iPhone 5 to an iPhone 10, because this is how it feels, this is how it looks to me. Um, because this is OLED technology, we can see that not only are the blacks just incredibly black, but the colors are just so vibrant, so saturated, and the contrast ratio is incredible. This is like going from a very mediocre sort of LCD screen, like what you find on a budget Android tablet, and stepping up to, you know, an iPad Pro with a mini LED, except this is OLED, so this technology is arguably even better than that. Okay, let's do a speaker test. Apparently the new one has got better speakers, but let's see. So this is the new one. And now let's listen to the old one. I think the new one is better, but not considerably better. So don't get it for the speakers. I think the screen just does everything for me. It's just so damn good. And it's not just about the quality of the screen, but I also think the size, because uh, this little 6.2 inch screen was a little bit cramped, especially if you're doing side-by-side -side split screen multiplayer, like you do, you know, um, at a party. <laughs> I think having seven inches would just be so much better for multiplayer. Let's just do a quick game. Oh my god, this just looks so good. This looks incredible. And I love the way that the glossy plastic curves on the sides. It reminds me of an iPhone 10. Um, let's do Rainbow Road. Okay, we are not doing Rainbow Road. Instead, we are doing whatever is first in this Grand Prix. Oh, Warriors Goldmine. It's still good. I like this track. Or maybe not. <laughs> Damn, it looks incredible. This, I think it's the biggest screen that's mostly doing it for me. It just feels so spacious. And the lack of bezels just, it feels so refreshing. I absolutely love this. It's so good. Okay, so now let's get to the verdict. Should you buy this new OLED Nintendo Switch if you've already got an old one? Well, if you play exclusively in um, docked mode, and if you are, you are a bit of a monster, admit it, then you probably don't need it because you won't really see a difference. But if you do like playing in handheld mode, then hell yes, this is just incredibly, so much better. It's a whole new experience, and the price is actually relatively sharp for um, hardware that's this good quality. So um, it gets a thumb up from me. And that brings me to the end of this video. If you've got any more questions about the OLED switch, then please make it known in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. I might even make a YouTube short or a TikTok about it. So uh, follow me on TikTok if you aren't following me there already. Subscribe if you haven't done so and also like the video to help me out. But until next time, toodaloo.